In Deuteronomy 6.6, 6, God gives parents a really big command. We are to teach our children God's commands. Other translations say to impress upon them, to pass on your faith. Mom and dad, it is your job to teach your children how to be lifelong followers of Christ. That's a big job with eternal consequences. And you have a lot on your plate. You have a job and you have to cook dinner and make sure the house gets cleaned and homework needs to be done and kids need to be bathed and the laundry never ends. Plus now this, we all feel overwhelmed at times. There are weeks where we don't act like Jesus and days when the Bible never gets cracked open, but God is faithful. And right there in Deuteronomy 6, he tells us exactly how we are to teach our children. We are to pass on our faith. We pass on things that are important to us. My husband's love of all things 1980s is very evident in our son because he passed it on. Now, there is absolutely nothing wrong with doing a formal sit-down family Bible study. It's great, actually, and we should do that. But first and foremost, we need to be passing it on by our actions because it's important to us. If Christ is an important part of our lives, we need to be passing it on to our kids in everything that we do. Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 9, it's known as the Shema, and it is the passage for parents. And God, before he starts telling us what to do as parents, he gives his command to all believers. Love the Lord your God. We are to first love the Lord our God. If he is important to us, if he is first in our lives, it should then be passed on to our kids. They should see that. So take a quick 10 second evaluation. Would your kids say that you love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength? Do they see you spending time in prayer? Do they see you reading your Bible? Do they hear you talk about him? Because before we can pass on our faith, we first have to have a faith to pass on. Is he first in our lives? Our kids need to see mom and dad madly in love with the father. And then we can pass on that faith. Love the Lord your God, then impress upon your children. In the next few videos, I'm going to be breaking down the Shema. I'm going to be giving you some really practical ways that you can set your family's faith walk tone. If we don't teach our children to follow the Lord, the world is going to teach them not to.